On the western bank of the River Nile in Edfu of Upper Egypt, the Temple of Horus can be found. This temple was built of sandstone during the Ptolemaic period of 237 to 57 BC, or 2,000 years ago. The temple is dedicated to Horus, the ancient falcon-headed Egyptian god. Now, while ancient Egyptian religion and mythology is certainly fascinating, the main thing that drew me to this particular site has to do with plants, of course. Inside of the temple structure, there is a special room dedicated to fragrant perfumes, oils, ointments, and incense recipes. The room is small, but with a very high ceiling, and the walls are covered in these formulas. Examples include recipes for mixtures of cardamom and myrrh for stomach ache, or soothing ointments for burned or inflamed skin. But how do we decipher these recipes? Well, one clue comes from the ancient Egyptian numbering system. The straight line indicates a value of 1, the upside down U a 10, the coiled rope 100, and the lotus a 1000. After learning about this numbering system, I had to go back to the perfume room to look for these clues. And there they were, clearly showing how much of each ingredient to add when preparing each product, whether an incense or a medicine. One important recipe reported in the room is kaifi, a burnt offering given to the gods. Kaifi has been known to be made of ingredients such as raisins, burned resin, myrrh, sweet rush, juniper, cypress grass, honey, and wine. Likely matches for other plant species in the hieroglyphic text of this room include Pistacia terebinthus, a plant rich in triterpenoid acid compounds similar to those that we already study in the Quave Research Group for their effects on inflammatory skin disease. It was absolutely incredible to stand in this ancient room of perfumes and medicines where so much knowledge has been recorded, and it's exciting to see where this knowledge may take us for the future of medicine.